Yesterday was Broadway Flea, which is maybe my favorite day of the entire year, and I had a wild haul. If you're wondering what Broadway Flea is, it is a Broadway flea market. All of the proceeds go to Broadway Cares Equity Fights Aid. So really, um, this is this is doing good. This is doing good. Well, let's get to it. What is in my haul? Uh, my number one most prized possession of the day. You ready for it? This is a flower used in Hades Town. It's a fabric one, which is a little bit different than like the carnations that you get when you go see the show. It is also signed by Eva and Reeve. And it has this little authentication, see, prop. I'm so happy. Dylan got one of these last year and I've been thinking about it literally ever since. So this was my biggest purchase of the day and my most exciting purchase of the day. And I'm just really, really happy about it. That's going on my little Hades Town shrine on my bookshelf. I also got this Merrily We Roll Along hat. This was a producer gift for the New York Theater Workshop off-Broadway run. I have a friend who worked on the show and he has this hat and I've been obsessed with it. And so when I saw they were selling it, they had like, I think three of them. I jumped because I wanted to own it and now I will wear it for the rest of my life. So whenever you see me, I'll be wearing a bright orange Merrily We Roll Along hat that just says Merrily and it's so cute. I also got this print. One of my favorite booths at Broadway Flea is the IATSE booth. And they have all of these like original costume sketches. And then they also have set design. And this is a backdrop from Oliver. And it's the city of London. And so I can't wait to frame it. This one came framed. This was from Joel Gray's Yiddish Fiddler. There's one part where they rip down um, this giant like paper sign. If this is a piece of it and that they framed it and I thought it was really cute. So I can't wait to hang this up. Not really going in any order, but I also got this Maker's Mart company glass. Maker's Mart is the whiskey that Trina Lang Bobby drinks in the company revival. It's known for having a wax seal. So I thought this was so fun and I really, really loved it. Speaking of company, I also got this producer gift. The, it's an opening night jacket, it has a little sticker that says, here you go, a gift for you, happy opening. I love that it has the New York here and then it has company on the back. And I just think it's like a really nice jacket. So, and it was like $25. At the end of the day, we'll just go through the shirts now. They had a $1 bin. So I got this very strange, but delightful Jason Mraz waitress shirt. It has a signature on the back. My friend Rachel from Theater Lovers kind of talked about it, but like it has this fedora and it has a guitar, which, Jason Mraz is known for, but um, Dr. Palmer is not. So I think it's really funny and it was a dollar. So I felt really happy about it. And I also got this tie dye best day ever SpongeBob shirt for a dollar. And I got one for my friend Haley too, because she loves SpongeBob. So I was very excited about this end of day dollar find. This was not a dollar. I think this was $15, but I got the once upon a one more time. It's Broadway bitch crop top, which I wanted to buy at closing. And then I decided to wait because I was hoping it'd be at Flea and it was. Diana the Musical little ornament. I thought it was really cute. It was like $4, so I got that. I also have this Hadestown 1000 show frame that I thought was really great. I think I'll keep it in the frame, but I also could just use the frame for something else, like put a photo of me and Haley and Kylie from Hadestown, which would be very cute. I was really excited about this. Can you guess it? Three, two, one. It's head over heels. See, there's peppermint. There's Bonnie Milligan. I was really excited. A little bit bent, so I'm trying to flatten it out and then I'm gonna frame it. Oh, this is fun. Kate found these for me. They are Diana the Musical postcards. We have Gina, Judy K, Aaron Davy, Ro, and the whole cast. So I'm excited to frame these. At the end of the day, everything becomes really, really cheap. And so it was $5 and it was this bag and anything you could fit in this bag. There's actually more in this bag, I didn't realize that. So I filled it with like random assortments of things, including this almost famous pin set that I thought was really cute, a Lehman Trilogy magnet, a share magnet. I also got it in orange, why? I don't know. Almost famous magnet, Trevor the musical magnet, a K-pop magnet that I already have, but I'm gonna give this to my brother because he loves K-pop. Take me out, I got this for my friend Jill and I got one for me. I also got a free come from away button at one of the booths. Company mask. And then this is a set of postcards from Mr. Saturday Night. I thought these could be kind of fun for framing. I've been building this like gallery wall and I'm always looking for fun things to frame. The SpongeBob keychain and this little waitress pin. The white Christmas. And then this is another keychain that's from Take Me Out. That's a little baseball bat that I think I'm gonna give to my friend Nicole. That was that. And then I've got a couple more things. They were selling these Kimberly Akimbo. They use a camera in the show and these were like from the camera. This is signed Bonnie Milligan. I like that it's like the side of her face. I thought this would be fun to hang up and frame. This is really, really cool. They were selling these uh, costume cuts from Fan of the Opera. And so this is from the Trident Girl. 
and I thought it was really beautiful and I loved the colors. So I'm going to frame this. I don't know if I'm gonna frame it on this paper or like take this off and make it look a little bit nicer. But either way, I'm I'm really happy with it. And like, look how beautiful and elaborate these costumes are. And this was $5. And then my final thing of the day is this print of the Elphaba costume in Wicked. I can't wait to frame this. I think it'll look really, really beautiful on my wall. Big thing this week is I've been trying to finish this gallery wall and I needed more stuff to hang up. And now I have a bunch of new art, bunch of theater stuff. I'll do, I'll do my gallery wall, like I'll show you it soon, but I'm very, very excited about everything. The one thing that I did not get at Flea that I was really devastated about was the Into the Woods Tony box that included the little Milky White statue. I think there were like three of them. Anyone has a lead on the Into the Woods Tony box with the Milky White? Please let it grow now. I just love Broadway Flea. Also forgot to show this. It was from a box of like marquee letters and numbers. They didn't have an A, but they did have an eight. So it, this is cool. And it was like 15 bucks. And eight is because I have seven siblings, so there's, I'm one of eight, and so I like the number eight a lot. I don't really know what it's from or what it's for, but I'm gonna hang it up because I think it's kind of cool. And to give you a sneak peek of the gallery wall, <laughs> this section is what I need to fill. Happy Flea, what was the best thing you got at Flea? That's what I'm really curious about. <laughs>